Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you a 2020 American romantic comedy film titled The Thing About Harry. Sam and Stasia are two best friends who like to spend time together. They tell each other about their lives. Sam says that he's going back to his hometown to attend his old friend's wedding. Not long after, Sam's friend calls him asking for help, to give a lift to Harry, a high school friend who used to hate him and often bullied him. As a favor to a friend, Sam reluctantly accepts the offer. Two days later, Sam is waiting for Harry at the appointed place. Sam still seems hesitant to agree to do this. He calls Stasia and she assures him he will be fine. Twenty minutes passed from the appointed time, Sam is about to leave, but suddenly Harry comes running. Even though Harry was late, he doesn't even apologize and starts being annoying to Sam. Sam begins a road trip to his hometown with his high school bully Harry. During the trip, Harry and Sam talk about their past. Sam tells him how Harry always bothered him, but Harry never remembered this. Harry then casually reveals himself to be pansexual. This shocked Sam, causing the car he is driving to go off the road. That night they stay at a motel, because the car had to be repaired. Sam and Harry begin to reconnect their lives. Talking about their future, their dreams and they both want to have a family someday. Sam is shocked because they share a connection. The next day, they continue their trip and arrive at the wedding. However, Harry ditches Sam to make up with his ex-girlfriend. A year later, Sam and Stasia meet Harry at a party. In a drunken state, Sam starts asking about Harry's relationship with his ex-girlfriend and Sam insults Harry by calling him a slut. But Harry doesn't mind the insult, and he tells him that he has now broken up with his ex-girlfriend and is still single. Sam who is actually also interested in Harry, trying to approach him. However, when Sam sees Harry flirting with another man, he becomes angry and leaves him. Six months later, Sam is brought by his new boyfriend Paul to a bar trivia where he stumbles upon Harry and his roommate Zach. In the bar, Harry teases Sam for dating Paul, and Sam teases Harry about his job because Harry couldn't keep one job. During the trivia, Harry answers many questions correctly, much to Sam's amazement. When Harry answers incorrectly and is blamed by his teammates, Sam comes to help him. During the last question about art, Paul who works in the arts field, suggests a different answer to Harry. Sam chooses Harry's answer over Paul's and makes their team win. However, this causes Paul to leave and break up with him. Afterwards, Sam and Harry decide to walk home together, and Harry expresses regret that Sam broke up with Paul. But Sam doesn't really mind it, and they decide to stop by the bar where Stasio worked and spend some time there. Zach notices that Harry keeps paying attention to Sam, which makes him tease Harry. Harry doesn't admit that he is interested in Sam. Over the next few months, Sam and Harry grow closer as friends. During the Chicago Pride celebration at a bar, Harry asks Sam whether the latter will consider dating him. Sam reiterates his stance against dating friends, because he was traumatized by dating his best friend, and he cheated on him. He says that best friends shouldn't date. They continue to have fun there, but then Sam finds that Harry making out with Stasia. The two then become a couple. Three months later, while having lunch together, a drunken Sam insults Stasia and Harry by predicting that their relationship will not last. After this argument, Sam loses contact with both of them. With encouragement from his roommate Casey, Sam begins finding dates using apps, which does not go well. Back at his place, Casey tries to ask about the date, but Sam admits that it never worked out, and Sam says that he still can't forget Harry. A year later, Stasia comes to Sam's place of work. Sam and Stasia try to reconnect their friendship. Stasia asks him to be the man of honor in her wedding. Sam thinks that Stasia will marry Harry, but after finding out that Stasia will marry Zach, they both laugh at their misunderstanding. Sam says that he was hesitant to contact Stasia after she was dating Harry. Stasia reveals that she broke up with Harry not long after their lunch and fell in love with Zach. At the wedding, Sam meets Harry again. Harry asks Stasia for help because he was afraid that Sam would not want to see him again. Harry says that he misses Sam, and Harry confesses his love for him, then Harry kisses Sam gently. That night, Sam and Harry spend the night together. In the morning after, Harry reveals that he was offered a job by one of the biggest sports companies and required him to move within a week. Sam is angry and annoyed because he feels that Harry had betrayed him. Sam feels wrong for letting himself fall in love with Harry after all this time. Harry wants their relationship to work through a long-distance relationship, but Sam storms out due to feelings of mistrust and betrayal. Sam and Harry's relationship is strained again and Sam again ignores Harry. Harry accidentally sees on TV that Sam is working at a political rally. Determined to face him, Harry sneaks into the rally. On stage, 
He apologizes to Sam and states that nothing is more important than staying together with him. Sam is touched by the confession, immediately runs onto the stage and kisses Harry. A few years later, Sam and Harry are married and raising a child together. This romantic comedy film is quite entertaining, a little cringe but funny and charming. The film follows Sam, a young gay man who is reunited with his former high school bully Harry, only for the two men to become friends and fall in love. Their meeting is quite entertaining, creating a story where they feel like they know each other for a long time. What I don't like in this film is how Sam's view of Harry changes after Harry reveals that he now identifies as pansexual, which is quite disappointing because Sam just ignores all his hatred for Harry. Sam's character also feels a bit annoying because he feels like he is always right and everything has to go according to his wishes. Like when Sam was angry because Harry didn't tell him sooner about his new job. So of course they end up together because Harry gives up his dream job. Sam's character seems too excessive and controlling, on the other hand, Harry's character is like a charming handsome man. I like the acting and chemistry shown, and there are many romantic scenes that can make me smile. The film is easy to watch but there is too much drama to achieve the happy ending. Thanks for watching this video, make sure to subscribe, and turn on notification.